Yes. Well, Hattie, as you know, this pandemic has really impacted all of us in a wide variety of ways, but there's a study that's out that says the older you are, the better you've been coping with the pandemic. You know what? I believe it. Maybe I'll be better at this the second pandemic go around. But for now, we're all learning how to adapt to this new normal. And just like there's a new normal, there's also a new retirement. And we're speaking with someone that deals with client strategies at Edward Jones to find out exactly what that new retirement is all about. Well, we conducted a five generation, 9,000 respondent study, which is very unusual to do something that comprehensive and so deep. And then, of course, right in the middle of it all, COVID. So we stopped and rewrote all the questions to be able to get a feeling for how people imagine things had changed during the course of this year. So quite unique. Some of what we learned is that about half of the population feel that retirement is not the winding down or beginning of the end that our parents might have thought, but they view it as a whole new chapter in life. Time for new beginnings, time for new relationships, time to love their family even more and maybe even start a new career, kind of an encore career. Uh, we also learned that younger generations were actually getting more wind knocked out of them than older people. But older people were more psychologically resilient. They had more perspective. They'd been through more difficult challenges in the course of their lives and were making sense of what was going on with COVID and feeling a great gratitude and appreciation where a lot of them, 20 and 30 year olds are kind of you know, really scared and rattled thinking, what's happened to my life and will I ever get married? And, are the kids ever going to be able to play with their friends? And will I be able to pay my monthly bills? And so we saw a huge difference between the mental health and resiliency of younger generations, which was not doing so well, and older people that were standing up pretty tall and trying to be the elders in their families and communities. It's a very interesting find. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. Obviously, past generations have been through more things. So why is it that Edward Jones decided to commission the study? Yes, we are a financial services firm. But we're also focused on relationships, and that's really at the heart of it. And so we have really two sets of clients, those who want to retire and those who want to stay retired. And we wanted to better understand, is the definition of retirement changing? How are their views of retirement changing? And how do we as a firm ensure that we're meeting the needs of our clients as retirement evolves and could be a 25 or 30 year period for most individuals? So that was the background of the study. And that, what we found was there were four key things, pillars if you will, that really help clients transition and live a fulfilling retirement. Those were the family, their finances, their purpose, and their health. And they wanted to make sure they had a strategy for each of these different items, as well as having a financial advisor who could serve as a guide with them to help them address those four key pillars in retirement. Many financial firms are trying to lead people to believe that retirement is all about a number. It's all about your money. And it matters, money. But what we learned from our study was that, boy, having purpose, new purpose in retirement really matters and friendships and loved ones and family is really where a lot of the juice and the satisfaction comes. And also, um, you know, the idea of making sure you take care of your health. And by the way, we saw a little bit of an intention action gap there. Most people feel that they could be doing a lot more to make themselves healthier, even immunologically strong as they age. But only about half the American population is exercising or taking care of their health. So there's some room for improvement there as well. It can be a problem too, because when we ask people, what's your biggest financial fear in your long life, in your retirement? It's not the economy. Their number one fear is, how am I gonna pay for healthcare and long-term care costs? And by the way, when we ask people, what's the illness you're most frightened of? When we asked older adults, it wasn't COVID, it's Alzheimer's. They're frightened of losing their minds. And so even with all the terrible things going on with COVID, a lot of people are sitting around thinking, I want to make sure I've got my family, I've got relationships, I'm improving my health. And I hope those scientists, while they're working on COVID, are also trying to find ways to beat Alzheimer's disease before it beats us. It's really interesting to see uh, what the study revealed here. So can you tell our viewers where they can go to learn more information? You can go to our website, www.edwardjones.com slash new retirement. We have the full study out there with all the details. And so we'd invite your viewers to jump into the website and look at the details and then reach out to a financial advisor if they need assistance. Let, let, me, let me add too that we did something in this study that no one's really ever done before because we had thousands of retirees in the study as well as younger people 
we ask those who felt that they were doing the best in retirement, okay, so what have you learned? What are the secrets? What are the tricks? What should you avoid? What really matters? And so there's a section in the report available for free online from these elders who are living successfully in retirement and they can guide us to how do we know how to take this journey and make the right steps along the way. Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.